Yes, it is time to get our beautiful DC to DC converter board manufactured. Look at this. It is just oh, a thing of beauty and a joy forever. First of all, let's get rid of these ugly, uh, unnecessary references. Maybe it would have been smarter for me to do this once before copying the hole three times. So what do we have? That's better. And we'll just move that reference designator onto the board. Looks a bit amateurish if you've got silk screen shooting off the board. One last thing, get that R1 reference. Overlapping silk screen, not the prettiest thing. But you know what, I think that'll do. Let's generate these Gerbers. Go to the plot output. And I'm gonna use the settings that are pretty, pretty acceptable for most manufacturers. So we need front copper, back copper. I don't have any paste on this. Uh, I'll leave that there though. Front and back silk, front and back mask, yes. Edge cuts, yes. And that's it, that's all I want. Uh, the rest of these settings look okay, so you can refer to those. But I'm just gonna hit, uh, you know what? Let's make a directory for the Gerbers, just so we don't clutter our working directory. If it asks you if you want to use a path relative to it, just say yes, and you'll see it just truncates the uh, the front part of that. So I'll hit plot. That's generated the Gerbers. If I go back to KiCad Actual, you can see that we've got the Gerbers here. And if I generate, and we also need to generate the drill files. So this is super important. Don't forget your drill files. I think the uh, the important things are the units and the zeros format. I think suppressed leading zeros is desirable for most uh, fab houses. So we generate drill file, that's done. And if we wanna take a look at everything just to kind of sanity check, what we can do with our Gerbers is open up the Gerber viewer. Empty screen, not very encouraging. We need to go to open Gerbers and I'll just select all of these. And there we have it. This is, this is the actual, uh, you know, photo lithography files that get used for stenciling every layer on your PCB. So you can, so you can click through these to your heart's content and micromanage every little detail, make sure everything is exactly as you want before you zip that up and send it to the fab house. And look, I might as well show you how to do that as well. So let's go to a popular one, JLC. How big's my board for the quote? So to, to measure your board, you can put your mouse in the top left corner and press space. And you'll see down here, these units reset. So this is like our, our local measuring tool and then I'll come down to the bottom and we can see that our board is about 40 millimeters by about 35. So in the quoting tool, 40 by 35, yes, yes, yes. Let's zip up these Gerbers. And add them. Ah, got a nice little other project going on there, a little knife making project. What do we got? PCB, Gerbers, I'll drag those in. Fantastic. Not drag, double click. And look, like that is, that is literally it. Uh, JLC is pretty nice. They give you a Gerber viewer straight up so you can you can see that you've at least uploaded the right file and it, it looks as it ought to. But basically, the de for most PCBs, the defaults are all you need. You can remove the order number for a small fee. You can specify where the order number should be so it's not unsightly. But look, that's literally it. That's all it takes to make a PCB. So in the next video, we're gonna do uh, a little bit of housekeeping to make this project shareable. We're going to create it like maybe a little pinout. We're gonna create some schematic PDFs and get the thing on GitHub. See you there.